Hey guys, this is Turn On Tutorials with the RSPS series part two. Um, today we're going to just show you how to change your home to the location you want it at. First off, we're going to open up your source and click the run batch file and open up your client. Just quickly minimize your folders and minimize the CMD. Now, just log in with the account we made on part one because it's admin. We're using Atlanta enter world once you enter the world you're gonna if you move locations uh, just go home real quick and then once you're home type in colon colon data on this will find the location you're at now if you look at the bottom left of your screen the coordinates are two eight three one two nine seven three yours mine yours might be a bit different but it doesn't really matter let's just carry on First off, you're going to want to go back to your source and type in in the global search clicking buttons. You'll open the file clicking buttons.java. You're going to do control find and find the first coordinate, the x. So, ours is 2831. Yours might be a little bit different. And once you do that, you're going to find the area you want to change so now we're going to use Edgerill because that's a common area people usually use it's a great place for PKing servers this yeah all right so we're going to use this area right here our coordinates are now 3086 so it's basically on a grid so you're just going to quickly change this to 3086 and the next one to 3498 all right you've now just changed your home to the area you want it at to save that file and compile your server. Once you compile your server, you're going to want to exit out of your run and then reopen it once you see this on the compiler. Now run your server again and wait till it says some words like launching Insidia and enter world. Now if you look, if you press home, it will now bring you to the new location. But let's say if you died or you're new to the server, you'll still respawn in that area where you used to be. So you're just going to log out real quick and go to SRC server and config.java. You might want to change some of the stuff up here. Right now we're just going to leave it the same and scroll down a bit. In this file you could change the XP rates and everything but right now we're just going to change where you respawn once you die or where your start location is right now you're gonna uh, you're gonna see you're gonna find respawn and start location once you find those log back in and with the same coordinates you're gonna change respawn to 3088 and 34 92 and same with the start location once you do that just exit and save again so you've now just made it so when you die you'll respawn in this exact location just compile again and exit out run alright so we're just gonna quickly make a new account to show you that it worked uh, let's say um, turn on touch whatever yeah log in and you'll see that it opened this interface make your character and you're now in the same position that we just made it alright now that we have made uh, so you respawn here die and your location of your new home we're gonna change some NPCs from the old home to the new home uh, stay logged in on your admin account and then go to the position where you want your NPCs to be right now we're gonna want them at this location right here 3084 3493 we're gonna go to the source folder and go to data config spawn config open that up in this source if you just type in home it'll have all the home locations of the old um, home all you have to do is find the ones you want so for example pure 2538 this is the ID of the NPC and these are the coordinates don't mess with these 
You can mess with this one. Just change it to one if you want it to walk or keep it at zero if you don't want it to walk just in the same position. Right now we're just going to want it to walk just to show you guys. And this is at the old location and we want it right here. So we're going to change the position to 30, 86, and 34, 94. All right, we're going to do one more NPC just to show you. We're going to make it the skills. We're going to make it at 34, 97, and 3087. Now, this NPC isn't going to walk, and this is the skiller NPC. Just exit, save, and again compile to save your work. All right, just exit out your run again, and you're going to have to rerun it once the compiler is done and it is done. Just rerun it and log back in. If you notice now, this NPC is here and it is walking since we changed it to one, and this NPC is still. And yeah, so so far we've changed your home, moved the NPCs, and respawned in uh, start location. Thanks for watching. This is part two of the series. There's more to come. Rate, comment, uh, subscribe. Thanks. See ya.